Hi everyone, this is Mark from Modulus. Today we're going to talk about the module library tutorial and the first patch, the introduction to the clock. I'm going to go through and read the patch and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, this is the clock. It's the beating heart of the modular system. It can be used for many things, but its main purpose is to set the tempo of your song. Select the module and then open the inspector panel to read more about it. So we click the module and open the inspector panel. And here we can see the title of the module, uh, the controls, inputs, outputs, a little description of the module, and the version history. Try changing the Hertz frequency knob and the PWR or pulse width knob and see how the output gate signal changes in the waveform node. So this is the waveform node. We're going to change the Hertz to make it faster or slower. And we can change the pulse width here to less time on to more time on. All right. A clock outputs a gate signal, which is low, zero, or high, one. Gate outputs are connected to gate inputs, so you can take a signal from here, this little wire, and we'll plug this into other modules, and you'll see that in the next uh, few patches. Set the clock to a slow speed, and then press the button on the button tile. So we select the slow speed here. We'll press the button on the button tile. The gate signal that outputs from the button here synchronizes or restarts the clock module. You can see with this an S here. The clock module always starts high at one. So you see every time I click that, click, click, it restarts the clock from a new starting point. So the clock module is really kind of the starting point for a lot of my patches because I do a lot of things that are sequencer based and the clock really, it drives sequencers, drives modules that take gate inputs that you know go from one step to the next to the next. And each one of these pulses is a message that says move forward, move forward, move forward every time uh, it comes in. And just so we can, we can talk a little bit about the, the gate signal itself. It's a zero or a one. We can go here to the meter and value, and we can pull this value up, and you see this is zero here or one. And we'll talk later about how you can use dynamics with gate signals, but for right now, you can just think about them as low or high. Basically, low means zero, or high means like anything that's non-zero, but positive between zero and one. Uh, and again, it sounds a little complicated at first, but you'll you'll as you use these modules, you'll understand more and more intuitively uh, how to, how to uh, put them together. So let's go to the next uh, tutorial patch. We'll open that up and see what else we can do with the clock. See you in the next one.